Well, hey guys, welcome back to 42 Pros. And in this video, we're gonna talk about a little cool little white balance hack that I use a fair amount, especially when I'm traveling. I don't have all the access that I have all my lights, but as you guys already know, I'm a big fan of the Yongyo YN300, uh, Mark III that is, and specifically with that 5600 Kelvin version of the light, just because it gives me all that output. It's got all them LEDs, the same color, so you get more output. So that's why I like that light. It's a great little key light. I'm using it right now in a 32 inch soft box uh, from Godox and yeah, it works great. Um, it's a great travel light, great output. It's battery powered. It can be powered uh, by AC power with the adapter. I mean, yeah, it's just great. You can link it to multiple lights, so on and so forth. If you don't know about it, check out the review here. It'll be in the carts. Um, um, the full review I did of the 2019 version. There is a newer version, a couple little changes, nothing nothing drastic. The, tw the older ones still work with the 2020 version, so no worries there if you have one from back then and you're buying a new one now, but on with the white balance hack. All right, so right now I have two lights lighting up my setup, okay? I have my key light, which is set at 5600 Kelvin, and I have another one right here with Whoop, fumble. The CTO gel in the slot. As I pull it out, you can see that it's on daylight power, okay, or daylight setting. With it in, it gives you that nice, subtle orange incandescent type look because after all, it's, it's set for roughly 3200 Kelvin and you get a little light differential. Now, with that, I have my camera set on daylight white balance. Okay, and I'm gonna switch it over here so you can see what it looks like when I flip things around and I actually use the hack. And here you go. And there you go. I have switched it around. Now my camera's white balance is on the incandescent mode or the indoor mode. And I have taken the CTO gel out of this light, put it in my key light. So technically if you were sitting here in my office, it would look quite weird. It does not look like what it's on the monitor there or in, on your screen, okay? This light is technically the CTO gel. So from our naked eyes, this looks orange, okay? This looks blue, just like I showed you as I pulled the CTO gel out of the light and put it back in, you saw that it was white and you saw that it was orange. Same thing here. I flipped it around, but the big difference is the white balance on the camera now is on the incandescent mode. So now it's recognizing this orange as a true white, okay? Don't have time to go into detail on white balance, but check out this video here. These guys do a phenomenal job of explaining what white balance is, how cameras see light, and the color tones throughout the spectrum. And yeah, they do a, a great job, very detailed, and anybody should understand white balance after they watch this video one time, okay? so. Go check it out after this one. But anyways, there you go, guys. So if you only have two lights that are daylight only, okay? This is a quick little uh, hack that you can use for your projects if you're in a pinch or if you're on a traveling mode and you gotta stay light, you can't bring all of your lights and blah, 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 whatever. It's a great, quick, little, super subtle hack that you can do to change up the videos. And if you do a lot of interviews, this is awesome. You can literally have people sit in the same seat, in the same environment, maybe change the angle real subtly, do this hack, and voila, you have a total new look that separates the people from their different roles, okay? But anyways, if you liked it, give me that thumbs up. If you're already using this type of white balance hack, let me know in the comments because I'm sure there are a lot of people out there that do, but I know that there's not a lot of people that <laughs> that understand or know about this hack because I run into them a fair amount, especially when I'm interviewing them and they're like, ah, oh, this light is orange. And then I show them the footage and then they understand. But anyways, guys, till next time, get the gear that's right for you because only you can do your projects. And since we usually only have one chance to get it right, why not do it right and just do it once? Till next time, guys. We will see you in the next video.